Hey Aquarius, I'm on the rise and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tarot. Today's topic is what do you need to hear right now, okay? Remember that this is a collective reading and may or may not resonate with you fully. I want to thank you all so much for all of the likes and subscribes to the channel, all of the tips and donations, as well as everyone that purchased merch, including Oracle cards. It is greatly appreciated and goes back into the channel. Remember that tarot is fluid. This could play out past, present, or future. Uh, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you, okay? And you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. Spirit, what can I tell Aquarius? I'm on the rising. Please and thank you. Unethical. Okay, unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. Someone is stealing or lying to you about money and don't sacrifice your morals for money. Okay, there is an energy of someone acting real unethical. Uh, for a lot of you, I'm not really getting that it's you. It could be someone in your direct energy. Uh, someone could be trying to use you for money. Somebody could be unethical or... You could just be sacrificing some type of morals that you have, which is basically unethical, for money, okay? So, I'm not really getting the energy that that's a lot of you, but for like one or two of you, it could be that. Others of you, it's really someone around you that has this energy. Comfort. Though you're not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably. You're entering the most comfortable period of your life. Your finances are in a state of balance. See, that's what I'm saying. You're in, you're comfortable, okay? Uh, maybe people could think that you did some unethical things to be uh, financially stable. That could really be it, okay? For those of you that this applies to you. But for majority of you, there is someone in your energy that they see you comfortable, they see your money balanced, and they want a part of that. They may have an unethical route towards obtaining that if they can. What else? Emotions. Your emotions are affecting your finances. It says you're paying too much to your too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career. Earn money during something, doing something that you love or dream job may be offered to you. Okay, so you could be in your emotions after finding out somebody trying to use you for some money or have some type of unethical approach towards you. Okay, they could be scouting you, kind of watching you, seeing what you got or just quiet as fuck around you, taking everything in, you know. There's an energy of you, though, kind of slipping um, away from your goal or slipping away from your career. Um, things that have brought you this abundance, this uh, stability financially, okay? Um, you could be blinded by love or emotion and thinking that this person wouldn't do this, okay? Um, either way it goes, success will find you, okay? But uh, I see you in this motivational uh, energy, okay? There is a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. So, you know the time, like, but there is more, you know? There is more that you should be doing, still motivating others. Um, there is an energy of you focusing on yourself so that you can help others, okay? And um, you need to leave the emotional aspect behind where it pertains to relationships because it's like, you maybe want love really bad and it's nothing wrong with that, but you're supposed to be doing something else right now, okay? And that lack or that um, part of you that yearns for this, but is not fully healed, that's why you're attracting unethical people, okay? There is uh, consider a career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activism, or mentoring, okay? Uh, you may be in need of motivation yourself or need an inspiration. See, that's what I'm saying. Put that shit in yourself. You know, a lot of shit, love is not easy, is it? Especially when you find out a mug been doing you wrong or using you or something. It will affect your ability to produce more good things because it's like, damn, I got to take a step back for a second and heal. Okay, but the first step is healing, okay? That dictates the movement, the flow of movement towards what direction will it go in? Will it stay stagnant and no changes made? Will you move forward out of this situation? That's what I really see. 
success will find you. That's the end result, okay? Uh, parenting, spend more time with your inner child and reconnect with your, um, and reconnect that young curiosity, okay? It's some part of you that is being overly logical, okay? That's the masculinity energy. That's the yang. Feminine is creative, you know, uh, into like has an intuition, things like that. Uh, so you may need to lean on that feminine side a little bit in order to attract the things that you truly want into your life. OK, um, but you may need to heal your inner child to recognize what needs to be healed or to really tap into that creativity. OK, some of you may really be judging yourself because others have judged you. You're patient, nurturing and warm nature will make you a great caregiver or parent, okay? It says, don't forget to nurture and treat yourself while you work hard towards your goals. That's the main thing there. Don't forget to nurture yourself. See, I see you throwing your emotions out there and not receiving anything back. It's like, let that go. The feminine energy is very comfortable, trustworthy, nurturing. And it's just like, instead of giving your energy out, Aquarius, sun, moon, arise and put it into yourself, okay? And I see you feeding it into others as well that need you or view you as some type of inspiration. So what else can I tell Aquarius, sun, moon, arise and please and thank you? Okay, the hero of your cosmic journey right? Speaking clarity, seeing things clear, um, and rescuing yourself, most of all, not just sitting there like a damsel in distress or like a masculine needing a helping hand, right? You are the hero of your own cosmic journey. You turn this shit around and you learn a lesson and you move forward. It says your greatest joy pollinates the world because you are someone like a form of a teacher or mentor. You're a motivational speaker or a motivator for people okay and there's an energy of when you save yourself you damn near could save us all okay probably not everybody okay but the people that you're meant to reach the people that come to you okay that could be an infinite number of people we won't know that in your whole lifetime but the thing is you're meant to do this okay you are perfectly imperfect, okay? So you're perfect just the way that you are, imperfect. The main thing is enter one step forward, one step onward. Keep moving, keep pushing forward and write this into reality. You could also um, journal a lot and that could be very beneficial for you. I see you coming in as the dictator and uh, how you want your life to go, okay? Moving forward. I see you having your guards up. I see you really keeping out uh, toxicities, okay? Things that could affect you passionately. Yeah, you definitely leaving those things behind. Some of them may, um, you know, be on the outside looking in, may still be watching you as you withdraw. I see you withdrawing your energy, okay? Uh, staying true to your beliefs. And that's, you know, like if you want to omit people out of your life that are unethical, I see you doing so. I see you retracting from people, really going within to learn, uh, really going within to see what type of connections that you want moving forward, okay? I see you healing the inner child, okay? But you are still in your head. There are some still blockages in the way with you really trusting. I think trusting is like the number one thing for you. Okay, you're in your head about it, but I see you trying to heal. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords here and the Emperor, you're very controlling over who can come into your life, who can, like, you're not finna just be rousled and dazzled by anyone. You know, it's the energy of like, no, I've been there before. And I see you really withdrawing and working on yourself, even if it doesn't look like that at first. What else can I tell Aquarius? Some moon arising going forward. Some of you all could be dealing with the Libras. Some moon arising. But it says you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. And I ask you to relax and feel safe. 
your angels are with you. They are guiding you. Okay. It's like the hard part is over. You cut out the people that meant you harm. Okay. Now it's time to go within and heal. It says time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. You know, we talked about that. You cutting out people, going within, really healing that inner child, really catering to yourself with self-love. Okay. It says to help beat this situation. I don't know why I'm saying to help beat the situation. It says to help heal this situation. So it, it's like an energy of you like, I'm going to conquer this. Okay. Um, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So I don't know. I see you being open for sure. Um, maybe trying to place yourself in their shoes, but I don't really think it's that deep. Maybe you're just letting this person go with love and light and you're going about your way, okay? It says your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgivingness from your heart and mind, Angel Uriel. So there's an energy of you being healed, releasing it, your angels helping you. You have free will. So remember, when you're praying to your angels or you're praying to the divine and you're asking for help, you need to ask for help, okay? You can't just be like hoping that mugs read your mind. You have to say it. Okay, you have to really ask, whether it's out loud or to yourself, but you have to ask and then you shall receive. And then it has, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Okay, there's an energy of you still inspiring others. Don't descend, don't lose hope. Just work on yourself. Withdraw if you need to uh, protect your energy and recharge. Otherwise, I see success finding you. And I see you being a, a motivator to many people that will possibly come far to hear your words. Okay, but I do see you overcoming emotional uh, turmoil. Okay. Weeding out those people, but there's more to look forward to, especially healing. So Aquarius, I'm on the rise. And if this resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more collective Zodiac reads like this one, smash that like button. Thank you so much for all of your love, support, tips, and donations. And to the end, peace and love.